If you are in the United States right now, you have to be very excited about the solid state battery industry. There is literally billions of dollars being poured into American companies right now, three big ones in particular, by legacy auto companies. And things are looking extremely promising. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. You are watching The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Fantastic to have you here. Great to see more than 10,000 new subscribers come on board over the last week, mostly thanks to Sandy Munro. So I'll put a link in the description to Sandy's channel. Make sure you check out his work. I think it is top notch. Honestly, there is nobody in the industry who understands electric cars as well as he does. There's no question about that. If you're arguing with that, you're mad. So thank you. Just want to say a big thank you to all the Patreon support of the channel. I think there's about 80 of you now and it really makes us, puts us, has put us in a position to be able to make more videos per day, really invest more time into helping everyone understand what's going on in the electric car industry and to try to speed up this transition to renewable energy, to electric vehicles, to being in a position where, to be honest, the world's just better for our kids and for everyone. So Car Expert and a bunch of other sources have reported within the last 24 hours that Stellantis and Mercedes are the latest investors in United States solid state battery stock startup called Factorial Energy. I made a video within the last few days about another solid state battery company in America, which I think is probably the most promising solid state battery company in the world. Now there's currently three big solid state batteries, actually more than three, but there's three big ones in America that have attracted huge amounts of funding from Legacy Auto. So this industry, you know, if this takes off and it will eventually, but the question is when, when this takes off, it's going to mean huge things for the American battery market. And it's really exciting to see because obviously we all know the Chinese are killing it in terms of lithium ion phosphate batteries and manufacturing electric powered battery cars. If you don't already know this, right now the Chinese electric car market is the biggest in the world by far. They're the world's largest car market and they're making a, li a literal shit ton of electric vehicles and they're pricing them on par, on par literally with ice powered vehicles. I'm not exaggerating here, that is a fact. If you don't believe me, go through and watch some of my videos about the prices of cars over there, electric cars. It's truly astounding. However, this could be a game changer for in a way, I would say not to catch up, but to provide this alternative solution which would actually give the American industry a bit of an edge. Now, Stellantis and Mercedes-Benz have announced they've signed joint agreements with US-based Factorial Energy to develop solid-state batteries for their vehicles. It's similar to the agreement that Hyundai and Kia announced in late October 2021 with Factorial Energy. Now, the US startup says it's developed breakthrough solid-state batteries that are safer, cost no more than lithium-ion batteries, whatever that means, because I'm sorry, but... There's just so many different types of lithium batteries that cost all different amounts. So they didn't actually say which batteries they don't cost any more than. So that would really make a difference if they could come out and tell us. Anyway, and they boast 20 to 50% longer range per charge. And that is huge. In addition to that, obviously, one of the key advantages to solid state batteries is their ability to charge much quicker than either lithium iron phosphate batteries or lithium ternary batteries. They use a proprietary system called Factorial Electrolyte System Technology, or FEST, which uses a solid electrolyte material that's been scaled in 40 amp hour cells. Factorial Energy says its batteries can be produced on most existing lithium iron battery manufacturing equipment. These partnerships will accelerate our ability to commercialize our core technology, said Factorial Energy CEO Su Hung. With our new partners, we can develop batteries that not only enable safer and longer driving range vehicles, but that are also compatible with conventional lithium ion battery manufacturing environments. Evidently, Factorial Energy's solid state battery technology is promising with Daimler Chief Technology Officer Marcus Schaefer acknowledging it's investing a high double-digit million dollar amount in the solid-state battery startup. Mercedes-Benz says it aims to integrate the technology into a limited number of vehicles as part of a small series within the next five years. You would think, right, that within the next five years, what they'd be planning to do is to differentiate their Mercedes S-Class products or their, you know, their high-end battery powered products. I mean, realistically right now, there's just not enough of a difference in my view between say something like a BYD Han sedan or a Tesla Model 3 and a, Tes and a Mercedes S-Class. I mean, the S-Class is very nice, but the reality is, I mean, the Model 3 is just as fast. It's actually faster, 
has incredibly impressive technology inside of it. I think they need a differentiating factor in the high-end cars. The same with supercars. Right now, you'd have to be mad to buy you know, a Lamborghini Huracan when you can buy a Tesla Model S Plaid that's way faster for what, like one third of the cost. So that's why I think this is exciting for those high-end vehicles, those supercars, those hypercars. Eventually, this technology will trickle down into the lower-priced cars. But for the, at least for a few years here, we might see these solid-state batteries in the higher-end vehicles where people are willing to pay more for the technology. Now, the German automaker also plans on testing prototype solid-state cells as early as 2022. So things do appear to be progressing really, really fast. Stellantis, on the other hand, announced during its EV day in July 2021, it plans on introducing its first competitive solid-state battery technology by 2026, which is on a similar timeline to Mercedes-Benz. Now, Factorial Energy has some heavy hitters on its advisory board, including former Mercedes-Benz head Dieter Zich and former Ford CEO Mark Fields. Interesting to see, isn't it? Solid state batteries are seen as the next frontier in battery technology, with the likes of BMW, Ford, General Motors, Toyota, and Volkswagen all investing in development of the technology. Now, interestingly, Tesla hasn't said a lot about solid state batteries. In fact, recently, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the battery chemistry of the future is lithium ion phosphate batteries. So it's interesting to see the contrast between legacy auto and Tesla. Now, EV laggard Toyota has been testing the technology since 2020 and says it'll first introduce solid state batteries in its hybrid vehicles. To me, that is a bizarre strategy. I have no idea why they think that's a good idea. If solid state batteries can do as they claim, why on earth would you want to be dragging around a petrol engine or a gas engine? Doesn't add up to me. The Nagoya-based automaker says using the batteries in its hybrids first will enable it to gain customer feedback before rolling out the technology in its upcoming electric vehicles. Now, the way they've said that, it makes it sound like they're saying, we don't know what it's going to do. So, hey, just give it a shot and we'll, we'll stick it in a hybrid for you and you let us know if it's any good. Honestly, Toyota's strategy and their direction, their marketing, their planning for the next decade is extremely worrying. I've made a series of videos about that. I'll put links in the description to some of those videos. Now, Toyota says a short service life is the primary concern with the batteries and is therefore continuing its development of solid electrolyte materials. Now, I did make a video within the last few days talking about some breakthroughs in terms of this short battery life and talking about how life has significantly increased for that company. And that is QuantumScape. I'll put a link in the description below to that video I made about QuantumScape's solid state battery tech and where they're at with their technology. Now, another issue that's worth talking about with solid state batteries is their poor performance in colder temperatures. And that is a challenge that solid state battery companies are trying to address right now. I'm sure at some stage they will figure that out. BMW and Ford have both invested in rival US startup, Solid Power. That also specializes in solid state batteries. Hyundai's previously invested in this company too. So now we've already talked about three big solid state battery companies currently in the United States. So it's an exciting future, really. These guys are all competing against each other. They've got money from all these different legacy auto companies pouring in. Really, really, it's going to be a fascinating industry to follow over the next few years. Now, in December 2020, Volkswagen-backed company QuantumScape announced it'll have its solid state batteries ready for production in 2024. We're talking actual mainstream production here, not production in three vehicles. Now, at the same time, GM's recently announced battery development center in Warren, Michigan will develop solid state batteries among other battery types, including silicon. So that's a fourth maker, a fourth big one in the United States that we know of. Now, okay, to be honest about all of this, it's still a way to go before we can buy a car with a usable, long lasting, temperature tolerant, tolerant solid state battery. But we will get there now you're seeing all this investment going into these companies, all this information they're going to be learning and probably, you know, stealing from each other as well, I imagine. That's going to fast track this. So the more money that goes in, the sooner we have solutions, the sooner we have viable products going into electric cars. And they will be, I think, pretty amazing. Thanks for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.